Right, this is Louis Edmonds and Damien Summers. That's the one. Okay, P2 and M1. All right, describe and explain health and safety considerations. Right, off we go once. Right, so first thing is previous injuries. So uh, before you do a gym session, you need, to, uh, you need to know about someone's previous injuries. So, for example, if someone's had a, a lower back pain, yep. you'll be able to do squats and lunges and stuff. Um, just so you don't get any long-term injuries from it. Right, good. Um, yeah, next one. Um, another one is spilt water. Obviously, it's important not to have not to have oaks. You could slip in any situation. That could be a gym or all. Um, as a member of staff or someone in gym, you'd have to make them aware of it or make them like rather tidy it up. Well, wipe it up or put um, spilt uh, like water signs everywhere. Right, good. Um, PARQ, PARQ stands for Physical Activity Readiness Questionnaire. Good. And um, it's used to ensure a person is fit and, fit and healthy enough to enter a gym and start like, a workout and um, shows if they've had any previous injuries or illnesses that could affect them when they're doing the workout. And it also includes emergency contact numbers in case like, any, anything serious happens. And it tells a person's lifestyle, for example, their diet and how much the exercise they already do. Good. Um, Next one. Obviously, a risk assessment is important to be carried out. Um, that obviously highlights any problems that could go wrong and like minimises chance of it happening because they give you like ways out of it. Um, I mean, obviously, that's it's got to be done. Um, but all could happen without it, so you need to do it. Right. Next is uh, checking equipment before and after a session. So if you need to check equipment, so none of it's like check if it's broke or if it's unsafe to use, and um, and if it because obviously if it isn't done and it isn't safe, uh, and someone could get injured or like get like a serious serious case of like injury or even death sometimes. Uh, for example. When someone's doing a bench bench press, if like something's happened at bar, then it snaps and it could kill them. So, right. Um, next one is just like form on any sort of exercise when actually at gym. So, uh, how you conduct, like how you actually do your workouts. Obviously, if you do what wrong, it can cause injury. Like free weight exercises, you can like you can rip ligaments, you can do loads of stuff. And so what, uh, sort of, so what sort of uh, exercise or what sort of injury might happen? Like a dumbbell press if you drop it and smash your face open or uh -huh. if you can't, if it's too heavy for you, you can knock your shoulder, you can knock your shoulder ligament. Right, okay. Is that all of them, right? Yeah. Just tell me the six you've chosen again then. Park you. Risk assessment. Checking equipment before and after session. S uh, spilt water. Um, previous injuries. And free weight exercises. Right, so say there's some spilt water, what, what would you make sure has been put out after it? So signs. And yeah. Signs, good. Um, you need to obviously have equipment ready to like what, mop it up and stuff. Yeah, right. you have to have that. So good. that's another thing. Right, and then give me two things that could be pointed out in a risk assessment. So say you're assessing a, uh, in a gym. Okay, you're going around checking everything, what two points might um, you pick out? If there's any broken machine, so you need sign signs up. Good. Saying not in use and stuff. Right, demo, uh, anything else? Any um any sort of like like obviously wires and stuff like trip not well not trip wires in that sense. Like um electric wires from treadmills or all like that off you. They'd have to be rather taped over or put over that rubber stuff put over it. Right, okay. And then which of those six do you think is the most important? I think, I think risk assessment. Risk assessment right. and park you. Right, why is that then? I think park you because if you're doing an exercise that exerts their their own body and, mm -hmm. and they've got problems. It, yeah, it could it could lead to obviously uh, illness and stuff, and it could like seriously injure them. Yeah. And risk assessments assessment. like it's important because it's, it's just general safety. Yeah, and it highlights any sort of situation, doesn't yeah. it? And it? So what might happen if it prevents it prevents anything bad happening so, in the gym? So any situation, what else, Damo? Any well, obviously it gives you a pro like a means of something to go by if all does go wrong, and obviously use that to eliminate it. So what might happen if a risk assessment hasn't been done? What and somebody gets injured? Well, it it's not sued like and sued. Yeah. Yeah, and go to HSE. Right. Good.
Anything else? Uh, Looking at? That's it. All right.